Hello Internet Dwellers and welcome back to Bib by Block, the show that recreates famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft for fun. I am your host Jeff Bell and welcome back to part four, that's right part four, of the Home Alone house build. We, holy cow, we have so much we have to do. I'm, I don't even want to waste more time because, I mean, we have to finish We have to finish the front porch and the front landscaping here. We have the inside of each of these rooms we have to do, um, some, some interior decorating, and then we still have to put the snow and the trees and the, oh, we, we didn't build a garage and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, so what I'm going to do in today's episode, we're going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to start by showing off what I'm going to, what I'm doing in the room a little bit on camera, and then I will just kind of jump ahead a little bit because you don't need to see me click on every single wall. You also don't need to hear me ramble for that long. I've already wasted so much time. Okay, first things first. We're getting rid of this lower this lower level. I I don't like it, and the more uh, photographs I look at, the more I realize it's not even there. So what are we gonna do? We are just we're gonna first start off by breaking the building. Oh, what a great start! We are just going to replace all of this brick right here. And now don't worry because this is all gonna be landscaped. It's all gonna have bushes and all that fun stuff. So we're actually not even gonna see this. Originally, I thought you were going to see it. I was wrong. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in that bottom gap, and I'll be right back. And boom, all done. Actually, that wasn't that bad because the back half of the house had already been filled up with the landscaping as I showed you guys in the previous episode. So it really really was just a little bit along there. Okay, moving on to the front porch. The front porch, which we have yet to do. All right, this is going to be... Uh, oh, I'm missing my other sandstone. So I originally was going to make this out of the normal brick. However, I, uh, I don't... I forgot that the normal brick doesn't actually come in stairs. And that's kind of... Oh, kind of bummed me out a little bit. So we're going to make it out of this. Um, first things first, this is going to be a little bit wider because this front porch actually is a little bit wider. I also realized that the front porch does kind of have a little bit of an indentation, almost like this is kind of hidden and tucked away, kind of just back in there like so. We're going to bring that all the way down on the ground because we can. We are going to pull you out. Uh, it doesn't have to be full slabs, but I'm making it full slabs. That is the front uh, approach. We're going to make that be this. These might very well be windows in the future. Haven't quite decided yet. Oh, that needs to have a little bit of a gap there. Uh, this is going to come out. This is actually going to drop down right there. Uh, how many more steps do I have? Ooh, I did not plan that as well as I would have liked to. Um, hmm. <laughs> so this is going to be here and here. And uh, yeah, we're probably just going to... Ooh, 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 that'll fix it. That will fix it in Dita All right, I am using, I, I am still using uh, these quartz uh, fences. This is from my uh, my mod that I did. I'm okay if I lose this one day, but this will just give us, nope, this will just give us our nice little fence posts like we have, like so. We can actually use that to fill that in nicely. And um, how well does this, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use quartz stabs, quartz slabs. Boy, I'm trying to hurry. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back with this. Let's just go ahead and finish the staircase here, which is going to... Uh, is that too steep? That... No. You know what? Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to pull this out here, like so. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give this a full block. Like that. Just uh Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go with that. And then just fill you in here, like so. Oops. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. Actually, yes, this... Uh, should be completely filled in on both sides and there's that and just for because we can we're going to put a little bit of a fence on this right there and right there and um that's the front porch on the bottom let's go ahead up here this is actually probably the part that's going to take the absolute longest uh just to kind of get through everything we need to do now yes i realize i could very well use these steps here but i'm trying not to just in case as i said before we lose it so this um, is going to come, we're going to make this go all the way across like that. Yeah, it looks a little goofy, but I don't care. So this is just like the little, uh, there's like a little awning on the front porch here, like so. And you know what? We're just going to come all the way up like that. Fill in those right there, like so. And um, you know what? I'm okay with that. I am perfectly, I'm perfectly, perfectly happy with that. I need a, I need a brick, or sorry, a stairs here. <laughs> Come on, let me in. Does that fill in? Ah, oh, crap, it does not. No, okay, well, oh well. So I'm just going to put that like so. I would have loved, oh, actually, that is one block too high. So we are going to do one better. We're going to fill that bad boy in, put that there. This will become a window. Uh, let me just go ahead and grab one of those, like so. And window. 
Yep, and then a door, which we will do a door later on. So that is the front part of the house. Uh, now, let's move on to the bushes. Okay, so you're going to need three things for this section. What we're going to do is we're going to use the spruce wood logs here as kind of a base for the uh, trees, which actually do not... Oh, no, you know what? They span most of this. They go to about there. And then uh, we're going to replace this Oops, with that. What this is doing is this is just kind of creating the effect of... Um, Kind of the effect of of of, of logs. So I, I did this over on the. Uh, actually, I don't remember if I did that over there. I did it somewhere in one of these builds. Uh, this is another little trick that I learned from Corrales all those years. So we're just gonna do this, and this basically gives us kind of just like a nice bushy area. The front up here by the house is a little different. Uh, it is just one block there. We have a couple blocks there. Uh, looks like what we can do here is a much bigger bush, which we will just go ahead and do that with. And then this stretches. We're gonna make it stretch to there. Just like so. I know it looks a little goofy right now, but hang on. Hold your horses. So then what we're gonna do is fill in this section here with just grass, just to kind of fill in um, just to kind of make it look like it's a different layer. This is one of those things where I wish there was a half slab of grass. That would make life so much simpler. We are going to then do another row just like what we did here. Um, this one, however, does go to about there, and then we are going to bring it down. We might actually bring it down one more, just like so, and make it go to about, yeah, about there-ish. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and fill in this all the way across the top. You know, we're gonna fill those in, I don't care. Uh, we're just gonna fill this in with bushes, much like that, all the way across there, like so. And then the bottom row goes along here, all the way along the, uh, the front drive to past that. So that's kind of the uh, the decoration in the front yard. It looks a little goofy now, but once we get the snow on top of it, it's gonna look good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this over on that side. And boom, random trees from nowhere. I put in two very tall trees because if you ever look at any of the photographs of the outside of this building, they have two very giant, giant, giant trees out front uh, that have no leaves anywhere near the bottom part of it. It's just they're very, very tall old trees. Uh, I'm not too happy with that one. That one looks okay, but... Uh, yeah, that's the outside. I also went ahead and put uh, just two anvils on either side of the front step because there are supposed to be potted plants there. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go on to the garage. Very basic structure, very simple structure. Uh, basically, it is just going to fit a, it's, it's a two-car garage, so it'll fit a car perfectly on the inside. So our, all of our cars are four blocks wide. We can do one, two, three, and four. There's a divider, one, two, three, and four. And then it kind of sticks out a little bit like that behind the back of the house. So that way you kind of have a view of this of the two cars. We're just gonna go ahead and take this up uh, to our normal height, so if I can actually hold still here. So one, two, three, four, and then this is our fifth. We're gonna cross it here, connect it to this bad boy right here, and come all the way over to this bad boy. A lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of bad gents here. I don't, not sure why. And then just bring this all the way up, just like this, not like that, but just like this, so it fits like that. So that's what we have right now for our structure. Just really simple, basic, uh, and then, we are going to go ahead and pull this all the way back, you know, like a like a car garage. All right, so that way you have something that looks a little bit like this. I actually forgot this needed to be down four, not five, and I moved this block out one because I realized that was going to be the inside wall, and there's no way a person could get out of the driver's side. So just being slightly realistic. Okay, I'm also going to fill this all in here with stone. That's really easy. We can do this on camera. Booyah! And then we'll just go ahead and fill these gaps in, in between. Um, we are not going to show the cars in the inside of this, so we are going to just go ahead and fill it in with, where did it go? Right here, dark oak planks. Just like so, going all the way across, like this, all the way up on both sides. This is real easy. I will do this on camera. No, nope, go away. And then we will, in the middle here, replace these guys with glass panes. We're just going to go ahead and do a dark glass pane. That way, you can't see inside, just like that. Up and over to the other side. Hmm, maybe that did need to go up one. Okay, I changed my mind. Actually, those doors were a little bit too narrow. I made them all one block wider, so that way they are five wide, so that way a car could, it wouldn't sit perfectly in the middle of it, but it's just more aesthetically pleasing when we go ahead and do this. Plus, at the top, in the middle of these two here, it needs to have this. Now, hold on a second so I can get it turned out. Yep, okay, that's just gonna, yep, that's, that's, that's what it is. Just like that. A little piece of decoration there, just kind of smack dab in the middle of both of those sides. They're gonna be the same one right over here above the future door. 
Okay, now onto the roof of the garage. The garage is very simple. It's just going to be a step slab type structure, kind of similar to some of the other ones that we've done. We are just going to go up like so, all the way until we reach the middle of the garage. It's probably going to be somewhere around here. Uh, just kind of keep going up until about yay so, probably about, uh, probably just about here. We'll just... Uh, take a shot that that is going to be the middle of the garage so we're just going to go up on that side down on that side and then we're going to fill in the middle kind of the same structure as this and then wrap that white part around it and boom there's the garage so basically like i said just kind of match the rest of the structure over there it's a garage they're you know, they're supposed to look the same as the house usually okay on to the inside Okay, inside. Now, the entire first floor has sort of this type of uh, design pattern going along. The entire ground uh, level of the walls. Actually, now that I say this, I believe the entire upstairs has this exact same structure. So, to make life easier, we're just going to go around the entire house and put this in its place. Just to, because uh, it's going to be necessary no matter where we are in the house. So, let's go ahead and do this little fun task, and then I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Bada bing, bada boom, bada done. That was the dumbest thing I've ever said in my life. Okay, this first room here in the front foyer here, um, in the movie it actually has kind of a floral pattern going along the entire uh, wall. There is not really anything in Minecraft, at least with this texture pack, that looks good or looks similar to it. So what we are going to do is we're going to take a little bit of liberties here and just paint all the inside walls this red clay. It's kind of more of a colonial look. The house is kind of a colonial-esque style anyways, so this is just perfect. This is going to cover up all the walls here inside the front room. Oh, and also going up the stairs just like this is going to be this uh, this molding um, all the way along. We're probably going to go a little bit higher through here just because of the uneven floor all the way up into here on the second floor where this pattern will continue we'll come back to that second floor in a second however in the meantime we'll just go ahead and cover all of our walls just like this just like that okay now down here on the first floor this first floor has some paintings get rid of that Ooh, ooh, it it uh, uh oh uh oh whoa whoa my my game did not like me turning off that lamp apparently <laughs> It's it's really, really dark down here. Let me go ahead and get... Where is a good... Yep, I just need to go ahead and take one of those bad boys. And we're just going to embed that. Uh, we're going to embed one right there. Just into, into that. There's kind of one there anyways. Okay, that was... Ooh, that was terrifying. Okay. <laughs> also, just going up here, we're going to put some paintings. Probably not a very seductive painting. Coffee looks great. Flowers are fantastic. Um, nope. Nope. Yep. Puzzle. Puzzle. Sure. Just along the side there, and that is actually not wide enough for it. We'll also put one... Well, that's weird. Let's put one... Uh, nope, not a sunset. Nope, not that. Uh, nope, too big. Nope. Uh, sure. They're all alcoholics in this family. Perfecto. Okay, now that we have this done, <laughs> um, we are also going to go ahead and put some carpets down. All right, and just like that, we are done with this first floor room here. Uh, very basic structure is just some tables and some patrons. I replaced the glowstones with the sea lanterns because they look a lot better. Okay, moving on to this room. This room is actually going to be very simple. We're just going to use white clay in place of the wallpaper. It's actually this weird floral structure, and I do know that the white clay is very similar to the quartz slabs, but it is just different enough that you can tell the difference between the two of them. So, with that on our walls, this over here is our fireplace. Now, we are going to go ahead and use quartz for our fireplace. I will be using this, and you know what? I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and try to use that. So, this is where our fireplace is. We're going to go ahead and poke a hole in the wall here. There's going to be a fireplace structure there. You know what? I am going to go ahead and just fill that in like so. And you know what? Why not? We'll just go ahead and do that as well there. The fireplace. Let's gonna have this come out here and up one. I'm gonna go ahead and use the slabs here to kind of just fill in that upper part. And with that structure, oh, that went all the way over there. Let's just knock you over there as well. I do know this is pretty dang high, uh, you know, 
Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> but then on the outside here, we will just continue this structure all the way out and all the way up for the outside of the fireplace. This is gonna be fairly simple. We're gonna go all the way to about there and then just the rest of the way up will just be this, and this will kind of just, you know, pretend like we're actually, uh, oops, nope, not that. Just like so, and take this all the way, all the way, all the way up. And then on top of it, we're just gonna go ahead and put a couple of these bad boy pots here. And as I know, these pots are usually for flowers, but they look decent for tops of fireplaces. Now, I cannot get back in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bust a hole in the fireplace there and poke it back through, just like so. We'll go ahead and use our normal um, techniques down there to build a fire in the fireplace. Go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and put a flower pot on there just to get that. We will also use an iron, uh, where is that, where is that? What's, what is that? Yep, lamp. <laughs> I like lamp. Uh, the Christmas tree goes in this corner right here. We will put that there in a uh, uno momento. Let's go ahead and grab some extra stairs here. I want to do some, uh, let's do some, uh, yeah, you know what? We're gonna do some red clay stairs. Do I have red clay slab? Yes, I do. There's a, a like a lazy boy-esque chair here. Boom, recliner. Look at that, just, just pretty pretty as can be. I'm going to go ahead and build over here. Uh, let's use some different color wood because this is getting kind of dark with all the same color wood over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Let us... Hmm. So there's like an armoire over here. Not like that. Like this. And uh, you know, we're going to make it just an extra big armoire. We're going to go ahead and fill that like so. And then... Um... We're just gonna do shelves. We're gonna we're gonna fake this as just shelves for the armoire. Uh, we could very well put a button on the front there to look like a door, a button, not a door, a uh, handle. Words are tough. And then over here in this section of it, there is uh, actually a green couch that goes all the way across here. What do we have for green? Oh, look at that, we do, we still have our clay. Oh no, we don't. We have dark prismary. Do we have a nice, Dark green, I don't want to make it out of grass, that's silly. Um, well, I guess a green hardened clay stairs. You know, we're, we're on this, uh, this kick. So, we'll go ahead and put that here. And then turn it there. There's our couch. We'll go ahead and grab this carpet. And we're gonna go ahead and just put some carpet down in front of here, like they have like a nice little area rug. Pay no attention that it matches our <laughs> recliner there <laughs> and then on the back side of this we will use this same wood here they have just a nice little uh kind of just a couch and coffee table thing with jig we'll go ahead and put a flower pot on that they do have a uh, piano here yeah, I don't know how to make a piano in Minecraft, so we're just gonna go ahead and do some nice paintings. Uh, one right there. Can I get? Can I get a? Yep. Thank you. And let's. Can we just get another one over here? Another. Another one. 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 Okay, and another one right there, and what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go attempt to make the tiny little Christmas tree right here in this corner. What are we gonna do? We're gonna build our own Christmas tree because frankly, that's probably easier right now. Gonna go ahead and build it two blocks tall because we're out of space. Plus, it is also supposed to kind of look like Kevin, that is the wrong leaves. It's also also look like Kevin uh, actually chopped it down himself. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and use the spruce wood and we're gonna kind of make it look like it is the top of one of the trees that you would find out in the game here. So we're just gonna come out here, get rid of that. And uh, you know what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come all the way out with these. Change my mind midway through building this, game, this thing. I'm gonna go like this and this and that and that. Voila! <laughs> Christmas tree! <laughs> Alright, and with that, this room is done until I can figure out how to build the piano, which that'll be there someday.
Next room, now inside here for the wall texture. It is actually a dark, dark green. We do not have a hunter green, at least in this texture pack. So we're gonna use just green stained clay for all the walls. Now, this room is a little um, questionable as to what the contents are. It's supposed to be just an office. Now, we will not uh, fill this entire room out. I'm just going to go ahead and paint the walls. This is the room that Kevin actually goes into at the end of part one, for those of you following along at home, to see the uh, the, the old man with the shovel um, uh, reuniting with his family and his son and it's all oh, it's a heartwarming moment but I don't know what this room looks like so we are just going to not leave it like this there is a, a red couch in here so we're gonna go ahead and grab some of those clay stairs again the same ones that we used before because you know what those things are just so dark gosh darn vol uh, versatile and uh, I was gonna say vulnerable but I'm like that's that's not the right word at all. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a nice big couch right here because we know that there is, that's a little bit too long. We're gonna make it right here because we can see that couch from coming looking in the hallway here. There's also gonna be a uh, chair there, which we are going to do the same technique we did over in the Family Ties house, which is go ahead and slap these bad boys. Uh, we're gonna put these on all three uh, two sides and not gonna bother with it on the couch because you know whatever doesn't need the couch uh, This needs carpet uh, along the floor We will use a green accent carpet because this is a darker kind of if I can get out of the door Holy cow, uh, this is kind of a green accent carpet, which we will go ahead and just put right here again You don't see all of it um yeah, you know, maybe what we'll do is maybe, is there like a tan carpet? What do we have here? What do we have? We have, I did I not see tan? I saw gray. Eh, we'll do pink. Because pink, right? Because pink goes with everything, right? That's a design technique, huh? And we're just going to go ahead and bring this all the way to, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. We won't go that far. And then just do that. So it's like the, the that's sitting on the carpet. Yeah, look, that is glorious. We'll go ahead and just make another one of these. Uh, these, uh, well, you know what we'll do? We'll do this in a corner. And then give me one of these end rods right here to just kind of... Yes. Perfecto. Oh, and we should probably put some artwork in here because... Reasons? You know, this is that room. Maybe this is... Yes. Maybe this is some perfect hope. Holy cow, they have a big screen TV in this room. That is fan-freaking-tastic. Nope, 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 nope. And there we go. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put one of these guys over in this corner too because I just kind of like the way that these look and it's kind of, uh, it's kind of balanced like that. So beautiful, that is their t <laughs> Actually, I think this is the room that, TV, that Kevin sits and eats the uh, ice cream in uh, when he says that he's watching garbage and eating rubbish. Okay, next, along this wall, there's actually a, a cupboard, uh, something of a cupboard, kind of like another uh, dresser type, well, you know, what do you want to call that? Um, it's got a name for it, I can't think of it, a china cabinet. Yeah, that's it. Uh, kind of a china cabinet that goes along and stretches along this wall. Maybe we won't make it four. It is a pretty big, no, you know what, it is a pretty big cabinet. This room is super dark. Hold on, hold on, hold on, just give me you. Just give me, we'll fix that in a second. Okay, what we'll do for here is I'm going to do, because I want to actually be able to put something on the shelves inside there. Maybe we can squeeze something in there. Maybe not. I don't know. If Either way, it's, you know, it looks pretty. Uh, we're just going to go across here and here and just fill that in. And uh, button, button, who's got the button? Right here. I have the button. That was a silly question. I'm, I'm the only one playing in this game. Seems kind of strange. Maybe we should do, you know what we're gonna do. I'm sorry, I know, I know. So, so Jeff, this is what you're gonna waste the last seven minutes of today's episode on, is building an armoire incorrectly. There we go. Yeah, you know what? Looks like a television. I don't care. So on the front of this, <laughs> oh, I, I love, I love myself. I, uh, I need a slab. I was gonna look to see if I had one nearby. I do not. We're gonna use um, our oak wood slabs, our dark oak wood slabs again to build the table. Now let's just go ahead and put that there, so we can still see. We want this table. This table is is long but narrow. Um, so. Uh, yes, it's gonna kind of float. I think the uh, one we built in the Family Ties house floated as well. Just enough for a chair and two people. Yes, perfect. So this is gonna be the table. We are going to cover this with white carpet. 
not floating white carpet, uh, white carpet, because they, they have like a, um, uh, what do I want to say? They have kind of like a, a tablecloth. That's the word. Wow. Wow, words are just, words are just tough. And then we're going to do one there, and then they have three along the side. How long did I make this one? Two. Yep, just like so. They have three chairs on all sides, which is funny because I don't think there's that many kids in this family. And then one there, which is where Kevin sits at the head of the table. I do want to do. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna do not red rod. That's what I. I tried typing rod, and fingers just don't work. We're gonna try. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that one away. I didn't need that at all. Um, we are gonna try the glass again because this time we can try to. Oh, it's right there. Is this? Oh yeah, of course not. Oh, of course not. Oh, and that's just gonna... Well... Well, Shazbot. What? The, how, what? No! I want that. You know what? Maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll just do that. Then we come out, and then... Out! Whoa, that is so off-centered. Yay! <laughs> Chandelier! <laughs> At this point, you're just like, wow, why did we even bother trying to watch this? This is just horrendous. All right, so that's the chandelier for that. I, I cannot for the life of me remember what's on these other walls, but I do know above this wall right here, there is a painting. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for cooperating this time. I'm watching you, though, painting. I'm watching you. And then there's a tape like that, and I will not put... Uh, the pot on top of that. Don't ever believe a thing I say. Okay, and with that, the dining room is kind of finished. Minus, you know, a couple of paintings. Or, you know, just throwing the paintings around. That's that's cool, too. Like, we could probably... If I could get, like, a twofer here. Um, you know, sometime in this millennia. That would be great. You know, maybe not. Maybe this is just... Uh, maybe this is just my doomed... I'm gonna subtitle this episode... Perfect. I'm gonna subtitle this episode... The Day That Jeff Couldn't Find a Painting. Oh my goodness, just, uh, oh yeah, sure, now you give me the twofer. That works perfectly. This corner's kind of dark. Hmm, not too happy with that, but. Uh, and then we are going to put in, uh, we're actually going to put in these Arcadia glass doors uh, going into the kitchen. Or, you know, just uh, just break the uh, the thing altogether. Let's try that Arcadia glass door again, shall we? Actually, we're going to do the dark oak. I do the dark oak one instead. I like the dark oak one better. And that's enough to get through there. All right. And with that, the dining room is finished. All right, everybody, we are just about out of time, so we are going to end this episode here. And come back next time. We will first start off with a quick upstairs tour. I'm going to finish off the rooms upstairs. There's really not a ton of stuff up here. Um, it's a lot of the same things. It's it's a lot of bedrooms. Buzz's bedroom is the only one that is really clearly seen, um, and it's mostly uh, it's mostly the 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 bookshelf here that Kevin ruins, and then Buzz has a desk over here, and then his bed's here. It's a fairly straightforward room, so I will do all that off camera next time and uh, I'll kind of fill out the rest of these rooms just because they're they're basic boring you know bedrooms nothing too overly complicated um, closet door uh, and I will also go through and finish taking care of the walls in here that is not what I selected game uh, I'll fit oh 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 just oh oh things are oh things are just breaking we're gonna leave this up here. I'll also finish off the staircase here, and as well as the one that starts to go in the basement. Again, don't worry. I'm not gonna build anything in the basement. That creepy crawl space of a basement. Um, but we will take care of the kitchen, and we will take care of any of the final outdoor decoration, which means throwing down the snow, putting up some trees back here, um, maybe quickly building Kevin's tree fort, and running a wire. And then, then everybody, we will be done with the Home Alone build. Uh, sorry, it's going one extra episode, but like I said earlier, it's the it's the season of giving. So my gift to you this holiday season is more Home Alone house. I mean, at least I didn't leave you at the airport. That would just be. Well, I mean, unless you're unless you're traveling somewhere, then it's okay. Mm -hmm.